Yes guys, welcome from me, Championship Manager 0102. Now this is a video that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. Uh, and I've had the tools to do it, I've just never got around to doing it. This is a, as you see in the title, it's a question and answers on my free man game. So firstly, I'd like to thank Mark Whitaker. Uh, his channel is on my... Um, on my subscriptions if you want to check out his channel I think he's in the process of starting to build it uh, going forward but uh, definitely worthwhile subscribing in preparation for what lies ahead with Mark what Mark did for me is he, uh, he sent me a load of um, questions about our free man game uh, various bits and pieces and just have a bit of an insight in what can only be seen and described as the record internet network game for Challenge Manager 0102 According to the Guinness Book of Records, they can't uh, verify that, but I think that's bollocks because I know it is. Um, so Mark fired out a load of questions to me on WhatsApp, so I'm going to hopefully answer everything Mark has asked. Uh, some of which I'll answer in detail, some of which I will hit on because I think there's a couple of videos on one of the things he's, he's, uh, he's asked. So the first question then... Uh, he's asked me about, um, let's just come off this, he's asked me about international management. Uh, do, do we take on international management? Um, yes, we do. And, uh, you know, if you followed a lot of the series of the, the videos, you'll know that anyway. But it's an interesting one because for me now, we, are, we have reached, uh, we're on season 123, mid-season, as you can see by the date in the corner. Um, for me personally, I'm bored with the international scene. Uh, I've won the Euros and I've won the World Cup at some point in the last 122 years. Um, I think in terms of um, the other guys, Pepe and Ian, I can't really speak for them. But from my self perspective, it's just a fucking hindrance, uh, the internationals. And call it an OCD thing here, right? But what bugs me about the internationals is if, I, if I'm in charge of, let's say, Holland, then... You, De, uh, De, De Vires will be lit up in yellow because he's part of the set and it just bugs me it just, just bugs me so I'll like, oh, fuck it off so I haven't had international for a while it doesn't really interest me anymore um, now obviously with Pep and Ian I think it's a total different concept for them guys um, to be fair Ian he, Pepe probably was the initial leader out of the three of us in terms of the international scene I think Ian's probably overtook him though uh, in terms of uh, World Cup wins, Euro wins, that sort of stuff. But um, as you can see, Pep, I think that's his ninth time he's been Germany manager. Uh, and he, Ian has been, um, he's been around the block, not as much as Pep or myself. But yeah, for me personally, it don't really, it don't do anything for me anymore. Initially, it was just a part-time bit of fun, but now it doesn't interest me at all. So, a little bit of background now then for Mark uh, on uh, how we met. It sounds like I'm fucking talking about my boyfriend, don't it? So, me and Ian, we uh, got communicating via the Championship Manager forums. It was back then known as the um, chapman0102.co.uk. It has since been revamped and it is now known as chapman0102.net. Now... In December 2013, I'd, I'd already uh, been communicating with Ian, and uh, Pep is my nephew, for those of you that don't know, so, uh, and we had a six, we'd we been playing for about five, six months, uh, it got to December 2013, and we all had a, an EPL game, and uh, we lost it, basically, it corrupted for whatever reason, and uh, we lost um, a good six months of our 12 seasons to be precise so we were a little bit gut gutted so in December we said you know should we start again the update at the time was the uh, the autumn 2013 update obviously and uh, the, the latest patch out there was Tapani 2.19 so we agreed we'd start a new game and we'd start um, in the lower leagues as opposed to EPL Pepe started as Mansfield Ian as Wickham and myself as Scunthorpe I opted for Scunthorpe it was my wife's home team um, and I don't quite know what reason and Pepe and Ian went for but um, we started and that was in December 2013 December the 13th so you know we're fast approaching nine years which is a little bit fucking sad I know a little bit fucking geeky but do you know what it's great isn't it it's been fucking epic um, and what you know I'm reading another question here what, what's kept us interested in the game I think initially, because it was a rags to riches, it was a case of building our teams up. Now, I, I say that, it, uh, Pep fucked off after like uh, season three or four, whatever it was. He went to Southampton, where he is now. And Ian, I think a season or so later, went to Man United, where he is now. For me, I think at the time, because those two moved on, 
it was an incentive for me to stay at Scunthorpe and, you know, build something. And then I think I went for uh, 54 seasons, I went. In fact, let's... Uh, I went for 54 seasons at Scunthorpe. And you can see it right here. It's got all my internationals in there as well. 54 seasons as uh, Scunthorpe before I moved to Liverpool, as you can see. Uh, Liverpool, I think it was 25 years, I want to say, Liverpool, roughly, give or take, 25 years uh, before I went to Tottenham. Tottenham was a... What was Tottenham? 11 and a half years. We went to Swansea. And Swansea went to uh, Chelsea, which is where we are now. So Chelsea, we've been here for... Um, over 18, this is our 19th season. Um, so, what, for me personally, what's kept me interested in in this game, um, it, it's taken on them other teams. I think when I took uh, Liverpool, they were in the first division, so I had to go down a division. Uh, when I took Swansea, they were in the Premier League. Spurs, no, yeah, Spurs, I think, were Premier League. Um, Chelsea were in the uh, third division, so that's what's for me personally. I mean, Ian and Pep can win all the leagues and the Champions Leagues in the world, but I can quite categorically say that I've won the title with multiple English sides. And my objective initially was to win the league at least once, the FA Cup at least once, the League Cup at least once, and the Champions League with my sides. And it's great to say, it's a pleasure to say that I have done that. So, Scunthorpe. Uh, Liverpool, um, Peter. Sorry, I missed out Peterborough, didn't I? Peter, I went to Peterborough. Went down a division for them. I went to my hometown in Peterborough after uh, Liverpool. Was it? Yeah, after Liverpool in '89, and then I was at Peterborough for I think 12 and a half seasons. I went to Spurs, Swansea, Chelsea. Um, so six, six, six teams. So th that's what I'm. And basically, you know, the chances are I will do that again at some point. But if I'm going to do it again, I'm going to want to take a sleeping giant. No doubt about that. And when I say sleeping giant, it's all about resources. Um, so I don't want to take no shitty team with no money. So call me a checkbook manager if you wish. Uh, Arsenal would appeal to me. Arsenal are in the bottom tier. Um, it's big stadium, rich money. So they do appeal to me. Um, Manchester City do appeal to me as well. Um, I, think, I don't know where Man City are actually at the minute. See, when I return to Liverpool, they're all the way down. Man City does appeal to me. You got to think to yourself, right? This was uh, 2012, uh, sorry, 2013. So Man City had their money. I think they got their money at the end of 2011, 2012, and they won a the title. So uh, City would appeal to me. Uh, they are at the Etihad. They're rich. They've got a stadium. So that you know that, that that would definitely appeal to me. No one really in the first division appeals to me at all. Um, and you know that that's what's really kept me going um, and building myself new objectives. Um, biggest achievement. So my biggest achievement. I mean, me personally, this might shock you. My biggest achievement uh, isn't actually as a club manager, believe it or not. You know, uh, I think when we've got money to work with, it's a foregone conclusion. We should be battling for the title. We should be battling for a trophy. You know, anything less than a trophy is a failure of a season and we've all had those seasons where we've not won anything particularly pep but my biggest achievement and th this is you know this is it, this is my my honest uh, view um it is actually with an international team and it was sweden now in sweden i took over sweden as you can see uh, in uh, 2094 and I resigned just after the Euros now uh, along the way Sweden um, they're not the strongest nation by no means it's mostly Spain uh, Italy England and uh, I got all the way to the Euro final I knocked out Ian's England along the way so that was probably my best achievement in, in that sense ahead of winning the World Cup and that sort of stuff uh, I think uh, bringing Scunthorpe from where they were to 54 seasons and you know I think that's also it has to be seen as an achievement in, in all honesty uh, I was the first where are we going? So I was the first player to uh, uh, Manu and uh, so they're not licked because I've loaded this as a um, safe as a uh, internet game, so they're not lit up because they've not. Let me just show you, they're not playing at present. Um, so the first triple was 21 right through to 23. That was an achievement. 
And I think another big achievement of mine has to be, although Ian has now equaled it, was five in a row, right there. Top one with five in a row, five titles in a row, uh, and Ian has recently equaled that, as you can see. So that they are my biggest uh, achievements. Um, when are we going to play until, well, fucking hell, we never really uh, put a, a time scale on it. I mean, we're at season 123, and th there ain't really, we'll just keep going on and on. The biggest, biggest regret I've got is we didn't have, I say we, I didn't open up any other leagues. Um, it is a bit of a twat, twatty thing to do, really. I mean, I learned a valuable lesson. I was very still much a, a rookie internet player uh, back then. I mean, not rookie, but I never really see... I used to... probably was holding a dinosaur of a PC, so I just went with England. That was, probably sounds about right. So, a little bit... A um, little bit pissed off, and two reasons. One, because it adds more players into the database, obviously. But two, in respect of... Um, what keeps me interested, it, you know, you could move to another country and win the title there and so on and so on. Well, the the, the positive of not doing what, of do, not doing uh, more leagues is no one can fuck off to another country. And I mean that purely at Pep, because over uh, the years when we've had various other internet games with multiple leagues open, Pep has fucked off to another country. So it's easier. So um, when do we go until, well, we'll just keep going. Um, and the final question now is uh, what's my gameplay and my strategy of playing this is going to bring me into uh, two last questions that Mark has left me M me personally I I'm tending to always go for um, a narrow setup um, quite commonly I use my boom tactic which is what you see right there which is a narrow setup um, we never actually um, put in some set rules because nowadays when I play CM with uh, Mark or Gary uh, or Andy we have set rules and those rules are uh, at least three players at the back you can see I've got four at the back and at least two wide players and the reason for that is anything else it exploits uh, the match engine now the, the, the uh, sorry and the other thing is non wibwob now I'll hold that hold that thought about non wibwob for a moment so um, I've always gone with a, a narrow sort of setup like that I mean I'll, I've altered between a couple of others uh, boom returns so sort of like that. that that is pretty much what Ian plays gate crash I don't even know what gate crash is um, I, I used to use my um, oh, I've not even got it on there no more shit my middleman which uh, Pep used for a while my middleman was um, was that Where, oh no shit it wasn't that at all if it was uh, my middleman was uh, was that with with that with for fuck's sake with a few arrows that was my middleman still within the rules three at the back um, now Mark's asked about um, what my gameplay was that is pretty much my gameplay uh, a narrow setup um, sometimes I alternate between um, direct passing and short and so on and so on and so on. Uh, but he's also asked me about uh, a real, real sensitive subject. He's also asked me about Wibwob. Now, me and Ian, me, Ian uh, Pet will just go with the flow. We agreed, no Wibwob. Absolutely not. Wibwob is manipulating the match engine. I'm not going to use the word cheating. I I'm going to go with Mark's word here. Cheaty. Um, it exploits the match engine. This is a fact, right? Uh, you know, I have got a video on this, but... The, the, so I won't hit too much on this, but the bottom line is, whip bobbing is is part of football. It is part of the game, but it exploits the match engine quite extensively. So um, it's a no-no. Simple as that. Also, man marking the goalkeeper. It's a no-no. It's exploiting the game. So fuck that shit off. So we have none of that shit. Uh, but we never really agreed on those those uh, rules that we ju that I just said. Because we never really adopted those rules until the last stages, the last sort of the last four or five years. Um, but um, you know, in terms of these narrow formations, um, they are they're, they're they're close to realis realism. I did adopt a new formation, um, and that was I called this my Chelsea formation. It was like that. Do you remember when Chelsea won a title and they had Matic and Kante as their DMCs? And I, I, I called it a Tyson Fury because it was like an. I used a. I unwibwobbed a formation that I got called Fury of the Beast. It was all wibwob, but I unwibwobbed it and I just loved the, the base of it, which was something like that. And it reminded me of um, 
that that, that Chelsea setup from um, when they won the title, and I, I just think it looks. I mean, I've got away from it now. Um, I've, got, I've totally got away from it. So you know, Mark's asked about. You know, we had no real uh, cheaty players, exploiting players. I mean, if you look at the ODB, Tomadira is a no-no. He's not a real player. He is a no-no. And on the update. On the update, I will be honest here, I will not buy uh, James Henderson uh, for that very same reason. But there are reasons why certain players are put in the game as an Easter egg or whatever you want to call them. Uh, but the bottom line is, every other player is a real player. Anyone that's not a real player, you're best off just deleting them out of the database personally. I understand why James Henderson was put in, uh, that's another story. But um, that's just my perspective. But it... You know, it, this unfair advantage about Ribwar, Manmark and the goalkeeper having two at the back, you know, it, it's not for me. It, and, and it's not for Pep, it's not for Ian. You know, we, we like to keep it as a uh, fair game as we can. Uh, so that is basically it really on, um, on the, the, the Q&A. So certainly with thanks to uh, Mark Whitaker for for um, his contribution there. He did WhatsApp me all the uh, messages and I had to write them down quickly, really rough, so I could reel them off. Uh, and if you've got anything you want to add, any questions you want to add about the game, do let us know. Uh, there is one thing, right, that you can now do on the updates. Actually, you can do it on the ODB because you can apply Nick's Patcher, but obviously we didn't have Nick's Patcher when this game was done, where basically, as a, uh, as a manager, uh, you can have a profile and figures um, can't do this on this particular game now because it's an old game and it's a shitter really because it also has an age now I don't know if any of you know but as um, if you started a new game on ODB so you started in the year 01 you as a manager start at the age of 35 you start at 35 now if you started in the year 2002 you would start with an update for example type fairly you start as 36 if you start in the year 2021 with the update you start as um, 55 so I would love to have seen our profile, what our attributes were, what our age was. I mean, our age, obviously, we were born on the 1st of the 1st, 1966. So um, the year is 2136. So do the math. Do the math how old we would be. You know, and, and it's a shame, really. You know, but what you've also got to remember, with this being an old Tapani patch, uh, a lot of things, there's a lot of flaws in the game. Uh, your banks can loop. Your uh, a lot of statistics loop round, and it, it, it is a bit of a shitter about the things that loop round. But do you know what? What, what? You know, you can't grumble. We can't grumble. We are still going. We've not had any major um, disaster. Well, we have had some major disasters on the game back in season 60, 70 odd. We lost it. Uh, the, the, my, my laptop just fucked up completely. Uh, everything, every file got corrupted. Luckily, I'd sent a copy of the save to uh, a Dutch guy called Ray uh, from five seasons before, who sent it back to me once I got a new laptop. So we had to go back five years. Uh, recently, about a few months ago, uh, I had an issue. We lost uh, um, six months, which wasn't as bad. So uh, a new rule we've got now is at the end of every season, I upload a copy of the save. More so for people to have a look at if they wish, but also just as a safeguard in case we have any uh, tragedies like that again. Uh, if you've got anything you want to add, guys, fire the question at me and I will happily attempt to answer it. So till next time, guys, take it easy from me and the gang.